Hi guys, Martin here, also known as Full Moon Drummer on YouTube channel and UK guy in USA on the International Scale Models Forum. And um, coming to you with my second update. I didn't do a video update for the first update, just pictures. Um, but this is my second update for the Air Edward Echo DH2 148 scale weekend edition um, from update one. I painted some parts, the wings, etc. while they were on the sprues and uh, the fuselage cockpit parts I painted and uh, I painted the propeller. Since then I painted wheels, wheel assembler. I've done some assembly work. I've put the cockpit halves together, um, assembled the bottom wings, put the struts on and uh, and before I put the upper wings on, which I haven't done yet, and before I do that, I did some rigging um, and I used a fine easy line. Uh, I assembled the propeller to the um, radial engine along with the pipe work um, that goes on the front of that engine. And then I assembled the uh, framework that goes back to the tailplane and stabiliser, I did that assembly as well. So I have all my assemblies ready to go and uh, I still have some bits and bobs to put on like the gear housing on the sides of the fuselage that operate the pulley systems for the for, for the uh, cables that um, actuate the flaps and ailerons on the both the front wings and the uh, stabilizers and the rudder um, so some detail work to do still before I put a gloss varnish on and then I'll go into the day in and do a little bit of weathering um, but I did pre-shader as you saw in the first picture and some of that looks shows through and looks pretty nice I thought so I might not have to do much weathering but anyway let's have a look at all um, I'll start with the propeller assembler there's a propeller I did a dark wood I wanted like a cherry mahogany wood with a little bit of green there and I put brass tips on her as well she's assembled to the radial engine with the pipe work um, and what I used for that to get the wood, I used Tamiya XF10 which is a flat brown mixed with uh, Humbro. People say you can't mix manufacturers paints but I do and with isopropanil they seem to mix fine and I use the Lever 62 Humbro and I mix those to get the shade I wanted and then to get the wood grain effect I just mix some of that, some black into that and uh, with a fine brush I just um, brush some grain line onto the uh, prop blades so that's how I did the propeller um, here's the upper wing I've assembled the uh, I don't know what that is, I'll have to do some investigation it's probably some kind of motor housing, gearing for pulley levers etc um, so the top wings are redder. What I did do, I cut the um, cut through the recessed panel line that indicated the flaps. Cut that right through, and then I scribed top and bottom in the recessed panel lines to thin down that section. So this now acts like an inch. So it'll, I can flap it up and down. I did that both sides you can see there it's moving I didn't cut it off completely I just thinned it down like the hinge on a packet of Tic Tac mints um, to give it an effect so there we go as you can see with the pre-shading I've got some what looks like the framework with the canvas sitting on it and um, I didn't use a black pre-shade I used a um, I used a dark brown to simulate the dark wood I was using. I just continued that wood theme throughout uh, using a dark wood 
for the framework as well. So that's the wing and the propeller. Here's the tailplane assembler that I did. It's not the decal. The decals are still in the box. Let me show you that. There's the da tailplane decals. I decided to paint it, so I painted and masked. And as you can see, I've got rigging on there. I hope that shows through. Using the, the uh, fine, easy line I've rigged all inside there. So that's the tailplane assembler. Um, and now onto the master assembler. There she is. I saw photographs where the two outer struts were painted red and white. The front band started with white, red, white, red, white, and then the back was red, white, red, white, red. So I copied that. Um, I don't know if you can see inside the see the dials, which are decals on a wooden um, panel. But again, I rigged that. That's all rigged up. I hope this is showing through because it's fine. Wheel assemblies on. The inside of the wheels are painted white. The inch the instructions show red, but the photographs I looked at showed white wheels on the inside and red on the outside. So again, I copied the pictures I was looking at. Um, very delicate. I um, attempted doing this with Tamiya Finn, gluing these struts, and um, let, the, let it set for a couple hours, and then I attempted to put the rigging on, and it just started bending them in. It wasn't strong enough, so I had to restart, and I used super glue to put all these in, and I'll be using super glue on the tops of these struts. Uh, to put the upper wings on. Again with these flaps I did what I did on the upper wing. I cut through on the ends and then I scribed the panel lines to get a thinner plastic to allow them to flex. So I can pose them in a down position on, this, on the final model. And again some of that pre-shading is showing through on here. hope you can see it. I like it. Um, so I might not have to go heavy on the weathering. That's the underside. But I'm pleased so far. It's my first biplane, first time rigging, and first deadboard kit. And I'm happy with how it's coming together. That'll be the tailplane on there when she goes on. And that's it. So for the uh, for the colours on here, if anyone's interested. I'd I just use the Umbral 60 for the red. I use the Tamiya XF2 for the white. And then I use the Tamiya X4 blue mixed with some white until I got the shade that matched the um, decal. And uh, for the wing colours and the um, tailplane colours, I used Umbral 71 which is like a buff colour and uh, for the first coat over the pre-shading I added about 10% of a uh, Karka, Tamiya Karka I forgot the number now, I didn't bring it with me just a small amount just to give it a little dark shade sprayed that on and then what I did was get some of this in its neat form and uh, made a wash out of it with isopropyl, thinned it down and then I just went in between the pre-shading with a light coat of that just to give some highlights on all the wings, upper, lower and the uh, stabilizers. Well that's it for now guys, hope you've enjoyed what I've done so far, I've enjoyed building it. A little challenging the first time on the um, 
on the um, rigging but it does have the desired effect it looks really nice when you do it and I don't know if you can see it but there's rigging inside the wheel frame as well so anyway that's it I'm gonna move on I'm gonna assemble the top wing to the bottom wings and uh, then assemble the back assembly on it and then give her a coat of gloss and then tomorrow I'll put on some decals and uh, a little tired it's late in the day it's Sunday and it's five o'clock almost in the afternoon I'm just getting around to doing stuff I was up from 7.30 Eastern US time last night till 6.30 a.m. this morning Eastern time which would have been 11.30 a.m. UK time I was uh, on Chris and Alex Modlin's 24-hour YouTube build for the P P51 Mustang in the uh, British colours and uh, they did a great job of it and they still had about half hour left of time when they finished it I couldn't believe it, an old Airfix kit um, went together fine I heard a lot of stories that it was a bad kit but that went together great and they made a nice job of it in 24 hours so uh, you know, commendations go out to those guys all right, that's it for me. Enjoy your modeling. Stick around. I'll show some still images as I always do after the video. And uh, I'll get back to you later with an update when I've put the decal in. It'll be the final reveal when it's all decaled, uh, assembled, and uh, a little bit of weathering. All right, thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. Happy modeling. Take care and have a good week. Bye bye.